everybody, and I don't have my talk sprite up. God damn it. <laughs> I was fully expecting you to juke us. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. <clears throat> anyway, uh, hold on while I... Uh... So, there's a thing on, on my OBS, right, that says rewards enabled on the channel. Um, I misread that, and I thought it said Rosaria enabled on the channel. I'm like... Well, yeah, you enable hope so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hello, welcome to episode of 48 of yeah, Age it, of Titans. Oh my god, hey, you've been track? We're almost at 50 episodes. We are almost yeah, at 50 episodes. Um, Holy shit. And I just realized that uh, I have to play in a special spooky episode for our 49th. Um, Yay! <clears throat> For now, last time, our uh, glorious, uh, glorious crew uh, celebrated their victory um, for some. Uh, for some others, relaxation is anathema to their very being. Um, <laughs> There's like two members of our particular crew. Mm -hmm. What's relaxing? Yeah. You wake on the ship. Mm -hmm. All of you have had. It's been a couple days. Or we'll, we'll say two days uh, since uh, you guys. Got the uh, secured the loyalty of Celeste's pirate uh, pirate fleet. You decided uh, that you needed to at least take a second to recuperate, uh, given everything you've been through recently before heading out. Uh, the ship is fully stocked on food. Um, Aveline has been taking care of that, um, for certain. And you get a feeling that the Zeratan is itchy to get back into the water. It's a bright, clear morning. There's uh, the wake. It seems fairly calm. There's no storms on the horizon. Beautiful day for sailing. Have we stocked up on enough supplies for the trip? I don't so. I, I think we should be okay. I think Balko's like taking inventory or just final checking some stuff before they go. Yeah, absolutely, Valko. Um, you know what? Make me an investigation check, actually, as you're taking your inventory. Oh no. Well, it's fine. I'm. I'm no, just about to need to roll. Investigation. I wanted to say that after I rolled because I was like, I'm gonna roll a one. <laughs> they at this. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so you are going through the ship's supplies. Everything seems to be in order. You guys have, uh, uh, plenty of food. Um, obviously you don't really need to worry about, like, uh, your arcane crystals or, uh, items to repair the ship anymore since you don't, uh, have cannons or wood to repair. <clears throat> um... You know, various various other supplies you've got your money uh, most of your uh, alcohol has been consumed um, mm -hmm. there is Wait. something missing but you can't quite put your finger on it off pudding but okay
Is there any way I can try to make a roll to try to figure out what it is? Or was that for was that the investigation roll? That was the investigation roll. It's on the tip of your okay. tongue, and maybe with some more time throughout the day, it might come to you. Uh, otherwise, if you, you know, talk to, you know, other members of the crew, they might be able to figure it out. Yeah, he'd probably, like, he'd probably ask the others, like, to double check for him. Because, like, he's like, something's, something's gone. At, but I have no your, idea what. Yeah. At, the, at your word, Rukar will go under and just try and, like, investigate himself, see if he can find anything more. Absolutely. Uh, anybody that Falco asks may make an another investigation check. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you're just, it's, you're not <laughs> sure. Everything. You know what's funny? I have a plus six investigation, yet I still got a third. You know what? I'll go. Yeah. There we go. Akko. While everybody else is searching. Biz, you you come to the conclusion just a couple seconds after Akko, as you realize, and it's understandable why Valko didn't realize. I mean, you guys have had this thing for a fairly long time. That it's just kind of become background piece. Nobody's really done anything with it because you used to have a very large chunk of jade. I knew it. Oh. Uh, didn't the emerald that Avos found? Didn't Avos bet that in a in a card game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. He bet that in a card game, but we found it in the dungeon. Uh, Aqua was just like, "What's? <laughs> Are we missing the big chunk of?" You know, Jade. You mean the one that, uh. Yeah, I almost found it in a dungeon. The one, that, the, the one that Avos tried to gamble away a while back? Oh, yeah, he did. Oh. Rukar ended up winning it, though, so. Did you? Yeah. Did you put it in your room? Mm hmm. You just tried to. <laughs> kind of completely forgot about the Jade. Can I make another investigation check to try to see if there's any, like, lingering clues as to, like, where it could have gone or, like, how it was taken? Aqua is going to go look for it in Rukar's room with his permission. <laughs> yes, Volko, you may make that check. Akko, it is not in there. By the way, investigate a background, everybody. Open the door. Know. <laughs> you better get it back and be like, I don't fucking know. Volko, know, the most telling thing is that there's nothing. It's almost like it walked away. Or it could have been teleported. I was thinking, yeah, I'm like it could be teleported off. Okay. Yeah. Wild ass, but can I make a survival roll to see if I can if I bump into like new uh, a, a new person on the deck or a new creature on the deck? You may make me a survival check. That's a twenty one. Akko, your you head back up to the top of the turtle shell looking around when you notice the bushes. One of the fruit trees rustling, but it's not one of the goblins. Ooh. Uh, what was one of the this Vili? Vili, are you in there? Goes up to like goes up to the the trunk of the tree to look up. This is definitely like... not one of the lizard men. In you just feel like, oi! And you see the two lizard men off to the side just fishing and just waving. Oh. <laughs> side eyes the tree. Uh, Aveline? Yeah. <laughs> uh, would anyone else be following Akko or did just Akko up there? That depends. Did any of you guys follow Akko? Um. Uh, 
They are being fair. Yeah. He did not say anything going up to the yeah. deck, but... <laughs> I'd say, yeah. The biz, you see Akko staring up at the tree going, Aveline, come down! Isn't Aveline in the kitchen? Aveline is, is in the kitchen. Oh. Akko, oh, the foliage on this tree is not thick enough to conceal anything larger than a goblin. But it's not one of them. Mm-hmm. Akko is going to roll up their sleeves. Okay. Fine. Uh, can I make a nature check? into the tree. Oh, no. <laughs> so Get as you begin... out of the tree. Uh, as you what? begin thinking about doing something smart, uh, Biz, Akko, you <laughs> jump into the tree. Uh, does a 16 hit you? Uh, 16? No, it doesn't hit. You just barely managed to uh, move your arm out of the way of a flash of something green. As you look up and your eyes follow, at first it looks like there's a glittering snake until you see the two legs. And wide spanning wings. Yeah, wyvern! Jade dragon? Jade oh, wing! Of a jade uh, oh, wait. colored wyvern. Oh shit. Yeah. Uh, this is gonna uh, bring. Aku the... like slowly climbs back down the tree. Hold, hold up, Biz was talking. Sorry. Uh, this is gonna bring a sending stone to their mouth and say, We found the jade. It's a wyvern. It's in, a, it's in one of the fruit trees. Akko's like slowly climbing down, holds up his own sending stone, uh, directs his thought at Rukar. Is legend territorial? <laughs> what are you asking? Is legend territorial? Is legend is legend right now on the deck? It's legend territorial. No, 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 no. Legend, I, I heard legend is legend not on the deck right oh. now. Legend is yeah. Cheryl's room. Yeah, uh, legend not on the deck right now. You're fine. Good. He, but at like, hmm. but uh, <laughs> did Aqua have anything? Else? Did did Aqua do anything else before I open my mouth? Uh, no. He is trying to like monitor the, <laughs> if the chain. Yeah. Uh. He, uh, Rukar will then, will then announce, or basically call out to the, uh, the wyvern in the tree. Can you now just, like, is the wyvern, like, fully revealed, or you just see, like, a tail, like, oh, wing just spinning out of the tree? It is still in the tree. Yeah. So it's kind of hard but, to see through the, through the leaves. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, he will then approach, uh, I assume this tree right here? Yeah. Yeah. He will approach the tree and just, like, not go up, but just stand at the trunk, and, like, stand at the base and look up, and just speak and start, like, uh, speaking in, in, uh, Draconic, uh... I can speak Draconic, right? I feel like I can. Draconic, yeah. Draco yep, I can speak Draconic, yeah. So yeah, he, he'll speak in Draconic, hello! We mean you no harm. Uh, at your words, Rukar, it immediately, uh, leaves the aggressive stance that it was in, uh, and settles on the branch and answers you. Oh... This is good. I was worried that this era had no intelligent people anymore. Can you wow. tell me what year this is? Wow, your voice is deep, which is a small being. Uh. But, uh, he he'll look back at Valko. What year is this? I'm not good with numbers. Hey, what year is this? <laughs> <laughs> we have had a Stairs years. again. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine Rukar oh, turns no, to Oh no, but I don't. I'm sorry. I imagine we all go turns to Tinwi. What year is this? Guys, hold on. Standing right hold next on. to him, like, be, oh. To be fair, it has been a while since we were asked the question. Like, we had a fucking time. calendar. Okay. Uh. God damn it! The calendar doesn't. <laughs> but it doesn't say what year it is. I forgot. It's it's one. It's one o two. 
I th it's either in the notes or in the it's Discord. It, no, I it's know in the it's timeline. In it's in the timeline. Yes, it is in the yeah. timeline. Dark. Yeah, <laughs> one o two after the death of Metis. Uh, yeah, here, here, we here, got here. there. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, it has been a while since we were at anything time wise, like. The date. I've been paying attention to like the month and the day. Like... That was one of two at the start of the campaign. It is. How it much? is. It has not been a year. Okay. Yeah, but at, but I got that he'll just like he'll continue speaking draconic towards uh this newly hatched wyvern, or at least newly or at least quote unquote newly hatched. He believed to, he believed it to be. Uh. Quote unquote, because he didn't know for certain, but uh, he will say, he will say in Draconic, uh, 102, uh, 102 uh, a.m. after the death of Mestis, was it? Like that, la that last bit is like ADM. 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 ADM after the death of Metis. I knew I should have skipped on the drama lessons order. I cannot have to send this. So the god does too. I mean, the guys are still kind of here, but they kind of just didn't take a hands-off approach. <laughs> Good to know they succeeded. Oh no, too. So, just to clarify, this is the. Well, I'm assuming it was an egg now, but. We are sure that this is the, this is the one. Seems so. Hmm. How did you end up? How did they end up down there? What language are you asking us? I can't speak Draconic, so like I'm, t I am turning to Rukar or Valko, being like, Well, Valko will hear your, like your question and then relay it to the, yeah. the wyvern. Dragon. Now it's our turn to be the translators once again. Your dialect of the common tongue is strange. <laughs> Where did you find my vessel? What did we find him? I got my hand, my arms crossed, and I was like. Did we find that? <laughs> well, was... we found them in a dungeon underwater. It was in the lava dungeon. Oh, yeah. Several miles underwater, may I add. We found- we found you- uh... I feel like- I feel like at this point, Ghost is out saying that he's still- he, like, when addressed into this new stranger, he is speaking draconic. Hmm? Yep. Uh, we found you, like, in a- in a, uh, lava-based dungeon. Several miles- like, several- Miles underneath the ocean. Ocean. I was meant to be carried to the temple. What temple? There's a temple? A place for me to cover. Should I fall? My followers. What stone is there? And it kind of like uh, jumps up into the air, um, taking a quick circle around Zeratan. Back. Things really have changed. Who are you? I am Ocean's Bounty. There it is! Oh. Walco looks so confused. Oh, the final screen. <laughs> 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 I feel like, I feel like if, I feel like if, like, Valko would say, at, at, like, the end of his breath, Ocean's Bounty, and Aqua picked it up, he's like, wait, what? Yeah, no, <laughs> like, but, uh, wait, is the dragon speaking in, like, because, like, they don't speak the sea speak common, they speak, like, the, the old Yulon common. 
right? He is speaking in Draconic. Okay, he is currently speaking in Draconic. Uh, Muko would then turn toward Doc and say, uh, appa apparently this is Ocean Bounty. I'm sorry? Do you know who that is? This, the same Ocean's... Okay, wait. Which Ocean... Wait. Huh? The... And so... The Jade... The Jade Wyvern that was at the head of the old company. You know, uh, uh, he then was like, turned <laughs> to I slide up like, oh. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, I'm cool. Like, you know, you know, you remember how like our old ship was called the Ocean Bounty? That was David's idea. Our name in honor of this guy. Yeah. Uncle like reaches into his pouch and holds up uh, Symphony's uh, Jade Wings badge and holds it up to Ocean's Bounty. Does this do I remember? Remind you of anything? He, uh, I he am that... not decrepit. Of course, I remember it. What I do you say? Designed it. What do you call? Okay, what do you say, Akko? <laughs> He's still speaking to Connick, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Aku is staring at Rukor. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, like he, uh, he, said not, he, uh, he said he's not decrepit. He remembers that sigil because he designed it. So that I is am surprised at you. Oh. Puts him back into his bed. I he knows your name. I it's... didn't think it had been that long. He knows Volk's name? You know, what you know has him? happened? He looks like he had just remembered like several things all at once. He looks a little embarrassed. Listen, out of character, I didn't know this guy was the head of the Jade Wings, okay? Who no. would actually know this guy? <laughs> you were the head of the Jade Wings? Me? No. The no, dragon. No. Ocean's Bounty. Yeah. Oh, I. I was like, no. yeah, I'm, I'm kind of Volko's head? <laughs> Wait, I Volko... misunderstood what you just said. <laughs> Volko was in the Jade Wings, so yeah, he yeah. would know who the Ocean's Bounty is. Okay. Yeah. So I'm like, then like, <laughs> he just messages me like, was it was it Volko in the Jade Wings? I'm like, oh, 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 I would know this guy. Oh no. <laughs> Aren't like. But yeah, he will probably like stay in the kind of, Honestly, the only temple I know of is the one in the Lonely Mountain. But I hope that whole, that, that whole place now has been overrun by undead. Okay, okay, catch me up for a second here. What would Volko know in this situation? Um, so, Volko, you would know that Ocean's Bounty was a very powerful, very old, ancient wyvern. Uh, back in the uh, era of the Age of Monsters, um, okay. he didn't he didn't do a whole lot himself at the time, uh, as there wasn't really anything that like that big of an issue. But he did found uh, the company uh, to uh, you know uh, help like kind of you know deal with the, the, this whole situation. You know, one one very powerful wyvern can only stop so many, you know, packs of gnolls, but an entire mm -hmm. mercenary company is different. Um, <clears throat> Do I know what Ocean's Bounty was talking about with the temple thing and, like, carrying his vessel? You would not. Okay. Sorry, I needed to be caught up to speed. I'm the only one here who has it who wasn't <laughs> in the good. Jade Wings company came out. <laughs> All good. You telling me you didn't watch every single episode to study up? Funny Fake enough. Fan. <laughs> funny enough that when I started watching Kay's stream of Jade Wings, I think I tuned into like the last session. <laughs> 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 it just there was a big dragon that was like killing everybody. Yeah. That was Metis. <laughs> so that's the first time I watched 
the jade wings. Ah, <laughs> uh, the outer brain dragon. Good times. Yeah. Uh, good yeah. times. Good times. Yeah. That fucking breath weapon. Yeah, that shit was scary, man. Uh, <laughs> and then the guy. And then Broxigar. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I had no idea what was going on. And then the tube final boss entered the field. Okay, Broxigar anyway. Broxigar stole the spot like an Elden Ring boss. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. But yeah, I think Wukai was still replying to kind of like, the, like that the only temple he remotely aware of is the one in the Lonely Mountain, because that's where they found the egg of, like, Legend's egg. Oh yeah, we did find Legend there. Hmm. Round Shadow Dragon Egg. We did. Hmm. So... Tell me what this age is. Well, the long and short, like, well, the long and short, like, the, uh, after the cataclysm, hundred years, ago, like, like, a hundred two years ago, the world just kind of, as you can see, it kind of flooded. The only mountain to like become the last surviving thing from the old world. Everything else is just mostly just float. I just. Most of the continents it's floating on the on the open water. Well, there was a calamity with a large explosion that took out nigh everyone from the Jade Wings. And that caused well, yeah, what Rukar was saying, flooding of the entire world. And and the gods are now taking a more hands off approach instead leaving everything up to uh leaving the leaving anything like like, kind of like the, the equivalent of the season, up to these, uh, titans. So you got the Leviathan who controls the wind, who, like, is basically big creature of the wind. You got- no, 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 that's, that's the wrong one. The Leviathan is the one that's underwater. No, the lot- the Levi There's a lot of them, fuck. Leviathan's in the water. Croc is something that hunts the Leviathan. And causes, like, the sea to become extra vi- extra- Violent. Uh, there's the Phoenix, who is basically the sun. There's the uh, Zekko, which are a uh, wandering ice titan that a lot of chromatic, like some like stories say, a lot of, some chromatic dragons have taken up residence on. There's the Zeratan, like this one, as he just taps his foot on the uh, back of the baby Zeratan, that are basically like wandering islands or ships. Uh, and what was the last one? The Winged Serpent. I know there's one that, like, is... The, the Tempest! He's not the same. The Tempest, that was it. The Tempest, it's like a giant winged serpent that, like, basically whips up the mat, like, whips up the storm. The most dangerous ones, uh, as is. There's very little land left from all of the flooding. What you're looking at now, like, oh, we're still bad at Bastion, aren't we? Yeah, we're, like we're... gestures towards Bastion. One of the few small land lasses left. And depending on how how Quack keep and Quack is currently uh, on a feeding frenzy, so uh, if we don't find if we don't try and stop him, if we don't try and find a way to calm him or deal with him, there might not be much left at all. So the age of monsters came the age of oceans. Oh, more so call it an age of titans. Roll credits. <laughs> Very well. And my last question. Tell me of you. I know I knew hundreds ago. And I do not know it. 
What is your What is your what are your goals? Uh hmm. I Wukar looked that boy first. Uh, my name is Wukar. I hail from a collection of islands that are known as today as the Dragon Skull Isle, which I believe, if I'm if I'm reading my history correctly, were used to be called the Dra like the Isle of Dragon Riders. But but over time, like with the dragon basically all either bought like. Like with the dragon population plummeting to borderline extinction, a lot of them went into hiding. So now, most now any sort of like companionship between the two have long since been forgotten to the age of time. There's still some on those aisles, but they mostly just keep themselves. A lot of them are metallic. That was once a grand mountain range of small villages. It is good to know some of them survived. Uh, and as for why I'm here, uh, home was too stifling for me. And I've always had questions about, like, I only know, I'm, like, the only amount of dragons I've known were just maybe, like, one, maybe even some, like, I've only known, like, one metal dragon in my life. And she mentioned like a couple, like a couple of others, but I never got to see any. So I was just, I said on this journey to just find out what happened to them. See if there's any still alive or all, whatnot. I see a fair shoe by now. I see a fair shoe. Uh, CPC for thirty-two uh, months. Yo, you got a four-arm gunslinger I've seen a few, I've seen, I've seen a few others group. by now, but like, still wonder. Wukar then turn, turn towards Akko and basically just be like, yeah, he's asking us who we are and what we're on this journey for. Oh! And and without saying that, he will like translate, he will translate for Akko. In Draconic. Hmm. Well, I hail from the Kylandor, which is well, used to be a floating city, but after Croc attacked it, it's now sunk to the to the bottom of the ocean. It still lives, but uh, yeah, after to Croc and a um, <laughs> little bit of history lessons, but uh, my kind of father's order, the Diophatis is actually ordered uh, the construction of the counter when Grokin was starting to get flooded. But... As for why I'm here, a tradition aboard it kind of demands the young, pu the, the young pupils to travel the world, you know, broaden their, broaden their horizons, discover something interesting to make up their, their thesis. 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 I cannot speak. <laughs> and that's how I that's how we enlisted this group. And now we are on a journey to help the gods and save the titans and that's we're basically just trying to gather numbers so we can try and deal with Quark before he consumes the entire world. Yep. And we have a Cassandra to deal with. At that, Ocean's Bounty rears up and uh, lets out a low hiss. Cassandra oh, please do not. is still around. I thought you were going to claw me for a second, but yes, sadly. What was the name? I missed it. Cassandra. Oh. Oh yeah, she's around. Cassandra. Steven, 
the cataclysm could kill her. This is Duster. Well, we are going to waste a little fraction of our power in the state of our captain. But yes, I agree that it's a disturbingly powerful entity there. And what connection does Cassandra have to the Hunter God? The Hunter what? God? The Croc. Yeah, he's the, he the God of the Hunt, so yeah. <laughs> I don't think we, I don't think we, we don't know if there's like any sort of connection between the two just yet. I don't think, yeah. I mean, it's like, two, two different there. goals that we have to do, right? Yeah. Oh, but, but, uh, and Vuko look towards Valko and look down at, and look down at the hilt. Yeah. And then just it back towards Ocean Bounty, I just like asking, do you want to tell him about that? Like looking down a black wave, is hilt. Yeah, he like subtly like shrugs and like very subtly shakes his head no. Shake like he head. wasn't. In, it looks like he wasn't intending to. But did you, but did he actually say like whether or not Mukar should pick up like? Asked about anything like we're going black waves or towards ocean bounty, or is he just like, or is he kind of like indifferent? I mean, all you got was a little shrug and a shaking of his head. Hmm. Yeah, interpret that as you will. He will trust his gut because it's still important information. He will then look towards ocean bounty and ask, "Does the name black waves mean anything to you?" <laughs> Of course it does. The most powerful of my company muted placards. Yeah, so apparently during the cataclysm, Black Razor was shattered into pieces. One of which somehow Either it lodged itself in the after cataclysm, or maybe it's a theory, but we don't exactly know. Maybe Cassandra lodged it in there to, start, to kickstart all of this. Point is, a shard of Black Razor is lodged into the Croc's eye, and it's so, and it's seemingly causing it to go on this frenzy. That certainly do that. One of them is also lodged into the giant skeleton that was roaming the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's like another skeleton. There's like another another skeleton giant that has the uh, that had another shard, but crafted the more important one here. And where is the rest of the soul? We could just we just point down at uh at Valkyrie's waist. <laughs> like looks at you like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> This is a side eye, like bitch. Yeah, like a little side eye. I'm not. I'm not withholding. I'm not. I'm not withholding information from the age-old wyvern. Thank you. I could feel its presence from within. Tell me, Volko. How did you? Get your hands on such a cursed soul. I had assumed it was vaporized with Bruxagon. You're telling me this thing sur survived the. Like, this. When it. Oh my god, I can't talk. Oh, you know hand, what? I... Never mind. <laughs> that sentence. Forget that hand. sentence. I'll just try again. Um. <laughs> Well, it it gave us trouble a while back, and 
Well, I made a deal with it so it stopped giving us trouble. Simple as that. You were away intensely prophetic. Apart from the sword, why are you? I was hired. Kept doing mercenary work after, you know, the world started to flood and got hired onto this ship. Well, back when it was a ship. And do they pay you well? I guess. We get paid? <laughs> what a pay? <laughs> Bro, it feels like it's also like you're getting paid. By this ship. <laughs> we I thought we just had access to the funds. <laughs> we kind of have a shared ship fund. Yeah, we just can take money out of it, but I don't think payment is an amount out here. What a, the Delver comes up and, and like lifts out the debts each of you owe to Damon for taking money out of the ship funds. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I I could pay that back. I have I still haven't dumped the two k I got from like the winnings on the calendar back into the chip funds. Two k. I haven't touched. Actually, yeah, I have two thousand gold on me for some reason. Jeez. Oh my god, it's comical. So I've just left it. <laughs> Fucking Damon has twelve gold pieces in his pocket. That's it, dude. Like, I have, I have, he does not uh, carry around a lot of I, money. I have twenty six gold pieces and twenty two copper. I, really I have four it. doubloons. <laughs> I should really just put the money in the ship box, but you don't. 524. Okay, that, that tracked for Biz, honestly. How is Biz, the person that has canonically the most debt on the entire crew, has the most pocket money? Because Biz is the one that's the most money hungry. I managed my finances, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> And what about you? Oh yeah, did Look the other two join us? I'm a soldier from Themis. Uh, joined this crew with Akko, uh, who I met, what, seven or so years ago? <laughs> My business <We> partner. <laughs> He's got to elbows you as he says that. <laughs> business, yeah. Business, that's, that's what we told ourselves. Um... We started working together, uh, appraising old artifacts from the old world that I dredged up. Eventually, uh, we came across Damon and his crew, joined up, and the rest is history. Not mentioning that one, that one thing. <laughs> and mm. was artifact salvaging how that hell stink on you? No, that's not the fact. How about we not talk about that, actually? Oh, now you want. Are we going back to old ways, Biz? Oh. Okay, please. Alright. Must, must we. <laughs> you, you were not in front of the day of the age of Dragon, I agree. <laughs> like, if you look at the car, you just like. Ooh. Can we not air up this laundry in front of the age old dragon? <laughs> oh, Interesting. <laughs> we, call, we call like nudges Rocco. And they've been married and they're already like an old married couple. <laughs> <laughs> he nods. And. Uncle gives you a side eye. <laughs> Where is this captain you keep talking about? Is he still in the door? Um. The urge to immediately respond, oh, he's dead. <laughs> I, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't necessarily be wrong. Not wrong, please. <laughs> uh, Akko is going to take the Sending Stone and go, Damon, Akko to Damon, you are the mandate onto the deck. Uh, he's probably searching the storeroom to see if there's like a spare shield or something in there uh, at the moment. There is. <laughs> a shield? Yeah, shield. Uh, he now has proficiency with shields, so... Yeah. Oh, nice. And he, he hasn't been dual-wielding, so you know what? Let's do something with that offhand. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Loki. Uh, yeah, Damon will come up top. Damon, you were you're. <laughs> I I just had the urge to go, Damon. You're old. Uh, you were around <laughs> in the last age. God Would damn, <laughs> he is. He is. Yeah, yeah, Would Damon? Yeah, he's like over seven hundred. Would Damon have interacted at all with the Jade Wings? Um. Probably not much, if at all. Uh, but he definitely heard of them and knew of them by reputation. Uh, and furthermore, definitely knew of Ocean's Bounty by reputation. I mean, I, would, I, I mean, if you have to go for that, I think the last ship was named the Ocean's Bounty. Yeah. He did sink ships before he settled down at a job. I don't know uh, if you're talking about Damon or Ocean's Bounty. <laughs> Ocean's Bounty. <laughs> 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 like Ocean Bounty, go. Uh, we'll get there one day. <laughs> to be young and cause massacre again. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there. But yeah, uh, you come up to the deck to find uh, a a tiny wyvern about the size of like a cobra. Chilling in, chilling, chilling in the tree with everybody gathered around it. Poppy. Uh, no, it's not didn't... Poppy. So, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Okay, Captain. This is a, uh, this is Ocean Bounty. Who oh, was apparently in that slab of jade that we had in the ship. My old boss. Wait, you mean like? The ocean's bounty, not like the ocean's bounty. Yep. Mm -hmm. He even reacted to the badge. He shows up the Jade Wings badge. Maybe. Apparently, he's been on our sh our ship this whole time. Apparently, he was just in the... apparently yeah. that slab of jade was supposed to be in a temple, not the lava based dungeon we found it in. That That's interesting. Well, um... Welcome to our ship, Ocean's Bounty. Is there anything I could do to... make your stay here more... welcoming? But also in Draconic, he will also tell the... Uh, did Damon speak, speak Draconic? No. I think yeah, also will be translating, yeah. Yeah, yeah he will be translating, uh, yeah. Uh, if, if Volko translate, he will, uh, Vukar would then, like, just introduce Damon, and, like, and this is Da- and this is, uh, what's his last name? Damon Moon. Damon Moon? Okay. And this is, uh, Damon Moon, our, uh, captain. Indraconic to, uh, Ocean Bounty, as you approach the group. Tell me, captain. Why? What is you and your purpose? What are your goals? Right you now, my main goal is to blow up and pretend I don't know nobody. I already <laughs> died once! <laughs> Understood, <laughs> wish. <laughs> um, Damon doesn't actually say that. Uh, oh, fucking hopeful. Oh, really? <laughs> I have um, Ocean's Bounty stat sheet up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well, our main goal for right now is putting a stop to Croc's rampage uh, and whatever Cassandra has planned. Uh, it seems her plans may overlap with trying to control Croc. I'm not entirely sure at the moment, but we're still trying to figure it out. Then Sage's heroes. You will. I have an offer. If you allow me to live and grow. On your Zaratan, 
I will offer payment in what knowledge I have. You ask me anything. Hey, Amen. What? <laughs> what? I don't You've understand. never heard of an AMA? Ask I, me anything? <laughs> I don't understand your new age Zuma human <laughs> phrases. I'm sorry. I, it's something I've heard my, my daughter Aveline speak of. I've I've been trying to keep hip with the young folk. Um, oh, I, I think Volko Stipe will uh, laugh. <laughs> Uncle recoils here. <laughs> I visibly. I do wish I do wish there was a way to stop it. That is gibbity. That was just. I don't even know what that is. I've never even heard. Uh, All right, that's... I'm making it an official ruling right now. Every time somebody's character says skibbity, they're taking psychic damage. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> Valid. How much do I take? <laughs> it's ruling as of now. <laughs> Okay, for future reference, is it said verbally or any case? Any case. Give it, give it, give it, okay. Alright, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> What's the amount of psychic damage? Just, you know. Oh. In, in case I want to play with fire. I see. Uh, I see. Oh, 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 oh. Fire can be killed aim in a second time. This <laughs> passes out. It, 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 take 31 psychic damage. <laughs> <laughs> it's Lord. Okay, um, Volta is gonna, like, glance to Damon and just be like, I don't see why we couldn't let him stay on the ship. Yes, I would more than welcome him to stay on the ship. Absolutely. And if you grace us with knowledge in return, that would just be even better. Very well. I have In a question. Oh, sorry. I have a question. How old are you? I was the first of Metis's creatures. Oh. I am the oh. eternal dragon. Oh. I do not know. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, imagine, so old, yeah, imagine being so old, you don't know. You don't know how old you are. For the I've first lost track of several millennia, I was feral and had no concept of time in the way that sees it. I understand. I also have a question, but it's more like towards K. Yeah, what's up? The dragons that are on the Zigzackle right now are the one. Were they there also before the uh, calamity? Um, yes. So, uh, J uh, Age of Monsters, Jade Wings lore. Uh, most of the dragons uh, lived on a collection of islands to the west of Yulon. Um, some on the Isle of Monsters and some on you know, various islands out there to the west. Um, <clears throat> the rulers, so to speak, like the, or I guess like pack, the oldest of each of the ten species uh, came to aid in the fight against the inter interplanar invaders and were all killed when they happened. Okay. So, any dragons that are older than a hundred, yeah, they they would have been around. Um, but there's not very many dragons left. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very well. I will offer you the knowledge of it. If you exchange, will guard me until I am old to grow on stone. Mm. 
a new what? Like a new heart? Uh, sorry, did I hear like heart? It's not me asking for it's me asking the player. Did I hear like heart stone or something? Heart stone. Yeah, his, his uh, heart stone. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I've got a deal. Uh, we kind of will like, we'll like just ask. So, like with the new Hearthstone, is that like something we could help accommodate to speed up the process, or is that something you gotta be patient for? I must be large enough for it to develop. I got no other questions, I'm good. So now, Captain. Now we head out and make our way to the Zigzagle. Did you find me looking for any storm? By the way, you were there for you were down there for quite a while. Oh yes, I uh, and he'll pull like off of his back, uh, like a uh, like a buckler shield. Uh, I was looking to update my fighting style a bit. Uh, so I figured I I might pick up one of these. Need a sparring partner to test it out. I would always welcome the challenge. If you settle on what kind of shield you'd like, I can build you, build you something custom if you'd like. That might be nice. Alright, well... <clears throat> Arco. Yes. If you uh would kindly and uh Damon will gesture to like the uh like pedestal where you'd like mind meld with the zigzag. <laughs> oh Zeratan. Zeratan, that's the one. Zigzagle is the yeah. icy boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we right. we, well, we are started. Yes, and as you like announced that Rukar would like just take off and take his place on atop of this tree over here, which is now like his makeshift lookout point for now. Where to, Captain? The Zigzagle. All right. North. Uh, yeah, I'll go mm. the fan. Go to the pedestal and start navigation. Yeah, so, 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 so everyone, yeah, so this is as, as the general player. Everyone, like every NPC that's part of the crew, we're back on the ship, right? Yeah. Cheryl, so, like, oh, cool. Uh, should we let uh, Celeste know that we're shipping off for now, or have they already, like, dipped out? Um, if you guys take like, a quick look to the docks, you see that her flagship is gone. Okay. Okay, okay, got it, got it. You wanna, right. wanna cover those bases? Um, yeah. Anything else, Anything left here we wanna find? Whether shopping or pick up or just exploring? Anything before we ship out? I think Last minute check. Hmm. What's this, 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 this <laughs> my notification is like, are you sure you wanna continue? You may <laughs> not come back after. Yeah. <laughs> Confirm prompt. Alrighty. As you all head out, everybody roll me a D100. Ooh, yay. Hey. Do you want me to do a navigation check as well? Yeah, I go for it. Alright, so that's a D100, and that's the Oh boy, can't wait to go sailing with my colleagues. Sure hope nothing bad happens. Yeah, real. <laughs> oh, dang it. Nine, uh, nine, I'll be right back. I can do you for sure. On the first day, 
sailing north. Akko, you are um, navigating the ship, the, the Zeratan, pretty pretty easily. Uh, on the first day, um, you don't really spot anything. Uh, you do uh, pass one of uh, you do pass what looks to be a pirate ship, but you can see from its uh, flag that it is one of Celeste's. Um, on second day, you don't really see anything. Same with the third. On the fourth day, you come across a corpse of some massive sea creature. Whoa. Looks to be yeah. perhaps a whale of some sort. Although from the mangled remains, it's hard to tell. Can we hear anything? You hear the sound of the waves. Okay. You don't think that this was the quiet one. Okay. This looks more like a croc. Kind of are, like, do we have yeah. like jaw biting claw marks? Yes. Okay. Starting to attack you. Could, could, I, uh, could, uh, could I roll something to see if, like, if I could determine whether or not these are fairly recent or if this has been sitting here for a while? Roll me a nature check. Okay. How is my nature looking? Not bad, not not good, not bad. It's, it's okay. Twelve. Twelve. They don't look to be very fresh. There's plenty of, um, like, other creatures uh, that are appear to be eating this corpse. So you're guessing that whatever hunted it isn't isn't around anymore to freak them out. Mm -hmm. He will not make any cards for alarm. He just, he just, like, wanted to, like, take a quick look just to make sure. But he, as he sees, like, any creature, like, eating, like, picking away at the corpse... He just like he won't he won't make an alarm of it. He'll just go back to like being on 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 alert, just looking around. Don't <laughs> shoot me back up. Uh, summon roll me another D one hundred. I got you. I can do it. No, thank you. <laughs> Alrighty. There was also some small scene I wanted oh to do while we were one, traveling at, at yeah, some point. Your yeah, first one was 19, this one's a 91, you got the reflection. Go for it now, Valko. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Angel, are you back? Yeah, I'm here. Hello. Fourth uh, Oh, sorry. Was that my was that my cue to go? I thought you had something yes. to say. <clears throat> oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, I think when at some point when Damon is in the room, um, Volko is gonna like uh tap him on the shoulder, try to get his attention. Uh, yes. Can I ask you about uh? Can I talk to you about your memories? The ones that you said you can't seem to remember? Yes, I... I mean... I don't know how much there is to say. I... I have gaps in my memory. Well, do you know... Was it... do you think it was from the deal you made with Bethelon? I don't know. Maybe it was some last fuck you by Cassandra when I didn't want to be raised by her. I don't know. Mm. Regardless of why they're gone, they're gone. I don't know if they'll come back 
I was thinking... Maybe we could try asking Varys about, you know, your past. See if that triggers anything. Maybe. Mm. Is that something you're comfortable with? Not right now. Mostly concerned that if it doesn't trigger anything, it's just going to make that hurt. That still is there in my heart worse. Right. I understand. Um, he'll give him, like, a hug from behind uh, and say, uh, I just thought I would give the option. It's been on my mind. I appreciate the concern. Anyway, that was all I wanted to do. I'm good. <laughs> Alrighty. As the fifth day rolls around, I would like you all to place a weird on the deck. I can't just be okay, so on the deck. Well, okay. no, you can be on your tree. I just pe people tend not to move their tokens around a whole lot on this map, so I just want to make sure that yeah. you guys are where you're going to be. Okay. Uh, I feel like because there's so many trees, he needs to like move or hop around to get different vantage points. So he might be on this tree right now as his new perch. <laughs> there's, so many, there's like there's so many trees rather than just like rather than just don't rather than just one. Bro's nest, so he's just hopping around in case he needs a new vantage point. So he'll be, so Vuko will be right here. Ah, uh, goes at the station. I just noticed Emily knew the little group out of the back. As Waller's sailing, feel. Oh, oh, and you had the BRB real quick. Okay, okay continue. Uh, as you are sailing, you'll zero two. Water cascades over the shell. Since movement creates. Car. Yes. You notice this first. As the water appears to almost be turning a pinkish color. Mm. Not that of blood, but something. It's almost an unnatural hue. Water slushes around, white foam and waves as the Zeratan bucks again. And you Is see it. Or yeah. As its first, then its second. Then its third head poke out of the water. Oh, dark oh. purple with strange, unnatural, parasitic tendencies. 
tentacles. Mm. It looks like a dragon. But there's something wrong oh, with it. Oh, oh, oh. No! <laughs> no! Oh, 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 shit. Yes. Hey, you motherfucker! Three heads stare at you. You motherfucker. Oh, but it looks so cool, though. <laughs> Elder Brain Draco Hydra? Bro. <laughs> As oh. in its wake, climb, drowny. But once yes. again, there's something. Oh no! Oh. As the elder brain Hydra oh, no. and the illithid Drowny surface, I need you all to roll initiative. God. <laughs> Let's go. I reminded the back it up, y'all. Make make some character. <laughs> I I hate these pricks. Oh, oh roll the six. My God, we're fine. I got a natural two. Oh, oh at each God. fight, I am rolling worse. Oh, oh my God, I'm on initiative. Oh, hey, the drowning. Yeah, why did you get a natural twenty? What? Those drowning are ready to go. Fuck. Oh. Hold on, hold on. I'm checking to see if I have anything to help me in, in, in initiative. Holy shit. Volko. I got nothing. Fuck. You yeah. are... You hear the loud splashing and I assume Rukar's expletives. And you turn to the front of the ship to see three large, wrong dragon heads poking over the side of the Zeratan. As you watch, what the hell does that? one takes a massive bite to the Zeratan's neck. Mm. He draws his sword. Says, ask for Black Razor to haste, and just immediately seems like a good time for that. I. Um. <laughs> yeah, Black like Razor. About that, Volko. Oh no. <laughs> um? Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, getting deja vu, Black Razor? Is he getting huh? performance issues? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the last I can time he aid you, but that power is lost to me. Okay, huh? how else can you aid? Yeah. And. A flash of white light as Volko, Damon, mm -hmm. and Akko. You three Hello? are now under the effects of the Bless spell. Oh? Oh, hey. that's neat. I did look it up. <laughs> Got a D4 um, to attack rolls and save. Oh, shit. Pretty good. Hell yeah. Alright, that helps a lot. Oh, so. Trying not to get hit with its breath. That's all the advice I can. What, what kind of breath weapon does it have? A disgusting one. I forget. What was its breath weapon again? Uh, oh, you'll see. Right. Oh, you'll see. Uh, parasites. 
<laughs> Which is why I'm extremely worried about Archie right now. <laughs> Archie? Yeah, that's everything. Havoc, su Havoc suggested that name a while ago. Did I? It's been yeah. a while. I mean, I guess I'm thinking about it now. So this thing out. can't kill Damon, but even worse, it can turn him into a mind player. Oh, oh no. god, no! Come on, man! <laughs> oh god! Imagine a mind player revenant! Oh god! <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, um. Sorry. I was thinking I would have haste speed. Uh, I am still calculating what I'm gonna do. Apologies, the lore has continued. <laughs> oh no, you're fine. I'm just. <laughs> Gotta stop it. <laughs> Move there. Um And I'm gonna use actually use the lightning strike ability from my lightning staff. Uh, so a bolt of lightning leaps from the staff's tip that's 120 feet long, five feet wide. Uh, I need a DC 17 dex save from them. Uh, I think I can only hit like one of the drowny at any given. Oh no, I can. <laughs> that would that clip through car. <laughs> Um, let me zoom in. Because it looks like it might. It will not. It will not? It but just, I can hit the... It just barely doesn't hit his token. <laughs> um, but I can hit the Hydra and the, the two drowning with that? Yes, you can. Okay. <laughs> um, I need... Oh my god, it barely hits that second drowning. That's funny. I need DC 17 deck saves from those three. Damn, they all failed. Made it. We're not the first wow. one made it. DC Wait, 17, that, DC 17, DC that 17, 17 should, should succeed. Oh, I'm totally blind. Yeah, the second drowning is fine. But damn. They'll take 34 lightning damage. Um, half on the save. So you know the funny thing is that uh, these guys are technically still drowning, so they have the stats of drowning, including their vulnerabilities. Ah. Ooh, Sweet. Oh. Actually, no, the second one's not dead. The first one is, but it's very close to being dead. Okay, um, and then... Uh, I'm gonna take vision defense for my bonus action. I'm a little wary of, like, what this thing can do. That will be my turn. Sorry for scaring you, Rukar. <laughs> I mean, I feel I feel like this look at I mean can't be worse than looking at this thing. I can look at the thing. Should have climbed up here fast. Uh, those ones are dashing. Ah. Uh. Oh my god. Let's see, what's the range on this? Oh my god. Oh! Okay, yeah. Um, hey Rukar, I yeah. need you to make me an intelligence save. Okay. Just going to look at something real quick. Okay, I still have one. 
to know, good to know. Wow. That is a failure. Yep. Uh, you are going to take... 24 psychic damage, and you are now stunned. Oh, that's bad. For one minute, or until you succeed on a saving throw at the end of your turn. Ah, uh, that sucks. It's... Mm, uh, mm, damn it, okay. like that. Uh, I'm going to use my boots, fly over here, and then puts that puts me. Then yeah, okay. And then thirty foot cube here. Uh, I'm going to use hypnotic pattern. Yeah, All of these yeah. guys will need to make a save. Yeah. Uh, what condition is this? Oh, sorry. Uh, charm. charm. They all automatically pass. Oh, Bye. fuck, they didn't you. Right. Mind shit. I forgot. Uh, oh, no. Okay, that's my turn, I guess. Fuck me. Okay, yeah. so what? As a legendary what? action. Of course. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I forgot that was a thing. The Elder Brain Hydra is going to make a tentacle attack. You're the only one in range. Yep. Against you, Rukar. Mm -hmm. Is it 20 hit? Yeah, they hit. Yeah, they hit. That is going to be 15 psychic damage. And you are grappled. What do you mean the dragon can have up to four targets grappled at a time? Uh, oh, you think that's the naughty uh, part? No, I know it gets worse. But... Go it gets and... so much worse. Go ahead and make me the intelligence save for the Mind Blaster car. Alrighty. 14. Uh, that just barely fails. Hold on, hold on, hold on, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where the fuck are you? Okay, I'm gonna spend a uh, do the diamond throw. I'm gonna spend a key point to uh, we roll. Absolutely, you need a 15 or better to pass. Uh, question, Rukar, uh, what's what? your intelligence score? Hold on. Uh, flat zero. Okay, cool. I but I do have proficiency in it, in the uh, saving roll due to a uh, timeless body. Yeah. Uh, time with body. It's one of these. Oh yeah, okay. diamond soul, the same one. I have proficiency in the saving throw. Uh, what's your save for intelligence? It's not gonna mark off my uh. The plus six. Uh, let's plus see. Six? Okay. 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 You're, you're gonna want a bit more than that. Gonna please be better. What? Nope. No. You are so. Oh. Sad. No, uh -oh. no, 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 and here's the thing, it says I have to take the second result. No, oh, that's a not one. Damon. Yep. It's your turn. Rukar is that? limp and being held by one of the Hydra's many tentacles. I chose the wrong time to be chilling on these fucking steps. <laughs> I, I felt the same way, I was like, I picked a bad spot. <laughs> But, like, if I'm dangling, you probably hear him just like, Hey, Falco, I guess it's my turn, isn't it? Uh, Damon Blackpool, to answer your question on what they did to bring this misfortune on their heads, um, we tend to, like, chat in VC before session starts, and sometimes they give me really good ideas for encounters. No one said Sometimes we yap too much help. for our own good. For real, for real. Um, yeah. okay... We have a tendency to butt ourselves in the ass. Hey, just think about how cool the story will be after. Oh, God. Damon will use one of his face steps to get here. That's his action to dash, bonus action to face step, and all his movement. Uh, that's all he's got. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, fuck. The Hydra. 
Hydra. I the Hydra. I drag you with it, uh, Rikar, as right. it climbs fully onto the Zeratan. It's going to make some attacks. Some. Let's see. I said it had three heads at the moment. At the moment? It's a Hydra. Yep. yep. Oh, no! Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. It is going oh. to make... Let's see. How shall I split these up? Uh, it's going to first make a tentacle attack against Damon. Oh, okay. A 20. That hits. That is 14 psychic damage, and you are grappled. Hold on, wait. Right, Damon. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. I have Gift of the Metallic Dragon. I'm going to use Protective Wings. Uh, I can ma manifest a protective wings that can shield myself or others uh i gain uh for the single attack uh it grants me bonus to ac equal to my proficiency bonus so my ac is 27 uh for this Whoa. attack uh okay okay i was and it's a reaction to you yep it is now going to make a bite attack against both of you. Okay. This one's against Biz. Mm -hmm. This one's against Damon. Yeah, that one. Biz, you are taking that much damage. And Damon, you are taking that much damage. It is now going to make a claw attack against each of you. That's a lot of attacks. Oh, and it's a and fail one. on the one against Biz. Oh, and it's 23 can stay there. Yeah, that'll hit. Okay, You're so... Sick. <laughs> uh, which one am I getting hit by? You are getting hit by that 19 bite attack for 14 piercing and 7 psychic. Okay. Uh, Damon, you're taking an additional 10 slash of damage. Yeah, I took it. Akko, it's your turn. Uh, first of all, I'm still on the melding station. How is how is the Zeratan feeling at the moment? Injured. Okay, no parasites to be aware of, right? My gamer, it is a rock golem. Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't want to end up on a fucking mind flayer Zeratan. Okay, that is the most that is the biggest of my worries right now. There is no gooey flesh brain for, for an Illithid to take over. Yay. Cool. Magnificent. Okay. Elementals are like one of the few things that couldn't be taken over by a Mind Flayer. Uh, <laughs> thank god, god, honestly. Yeah, we're probably dangling from where he is. Just sees, like, Akko, like, taking, like, in clear shot. Akko! Akko, please take the shot! Huh? <laughs> Uh, all right then. <laughs> Immediately, uh, sorry, a form archer goes up. Um, Doctor Hove, you get your spells back. I, 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 I'm so happy to finally have my wild shapes for this one. Yeah. Ooh. Do you want to turn into a spider first? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, so that is thirty feet to get. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about any of the walls and shit that are on the map, by the way. They're all, like, you could step over. Okay. You guys are all extremely experienced, like, fighters. You don't have to worry about me. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, gonna vault over the wall. Uh... First action. I'm going to Maelstrom... I'm going to use Maelstrom to basically secure all of these into a small a small siphon. Okay. Just going to try to flush them out real quick. Uh I need all of all of these 
to make a strength saving throw. And to make a strength saving throw. Uh, to the beginning of their turn. When they're when they start their turn. Yes. Sorry. Okay. Uh, do you want me to leave the thing? Um. Hold on. Finger. There we go. I just left the measure tool to... There we go, you can get rid of it. Okay. Okay. Uh... Boom. Oh, right, I'm still here. <laughs> I was about to say, how did I get there? <laughs> uh, bonus action... On... Yeah, on the Brain Hydra... Uh, pot shot. I have to look for my thing. Oh my god. Yeah, that hits. Cool. Thank you, Bless. <laughs> uh, 18 damage. 18 damage. Solid. Solid, solid. And since I am in star form, I constantly forget about that. And I don't know if it's going to matter or not. But I see slashing damage and stuff. Uh, I am resistant to piercing, slashing, and bludgeon. Alrighty. And that's the end of my turn. As a legendary action, uh, oh boy, you uh -huh. see one of the heads <laughs> turn towards you, Akko, as it seems oh. to almost be smelling the mental energy you are outputting to maintain that spell. Oh god. And it is going to shatter your concentration. Motherfucker! <laughs> the concentration oh, on that spell ends, and you take... Twenty-five oh. psychic damage. Fuck. I just imagine like it just eyes flash and you just got a split and a headache out of nowhere. We're going to talk after one. <laughs> <No, I'm kidding. laughs> <laughs> You're sick. <laughs> You're a sick Vaka. <laughs> Alright. Um <laughs> God damn it. it as soon weird. as I saw you post a concentration spell, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Um, for my first attack, I'm gonna switch Girl, out. half of my spells are concentration. I know! Well, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna switch out my first attack to the Breath of the Dragon that's going to fire in a 90-foot line. So it's gonna hit the, the, the big guy and then the two Trapani behind him. Alrighty. Um... It... Needs where is it? Dex save. More dex saves. Yes, DC nineteen this time though. Ooh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Damn that <laughs> second one every time. every time. <laughs> um, they will take thirty six lightning damage half on a save. Uh, I am in real mode, I forgot. You kill the Restrani. Second one's not looking great. Alright, I'm gonna now use Black Razor against the Hydra for my second attack. Absolutely. I, oh I crit. Oh my god! Holy oh my shit! God. Absolutely. <laughs> not both sides, but like, goddamn. Holy fuck. You got both ends of the spectrum there. Glad they're all the little dice. Volko! Actually, wait, isn't it... What, what are, what's the crit damage here? Is it max? So the first one is max, yes. Okay, okay. First roll in each one. Um, so that is 23 and 8. Um, mm -hmm. Let me grab a calculator. I'm also going to try to stun it. <laughs> but we'll have to first. Um. My phone is being very slow right now. It's eight, it's fourteen, it's four. Solid forty-nine damage from Volko. Volko, as yeah. you strike it, one of its heads falls limp. Oh, Wait, no. K. Oh no. Oh, no. Yeah. Put that fucking maelstrom back, it's on grappling. 
targets. On targets, it's grappling. Oh, I was a grapple. Yeah. Put that fucking master oh. back! Oh. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Rules public defender Drex enters the ring. <laughs> Put that bitch back in there. <laughs> Listen, I got concentration spells at the wazoo. I gotta fight for my life in this case. It's no grapple, Aka. No. <laughs> <laughs> And Wait, you are no. going to attempt to stun it. Which yeah, is I need a con save. Con save, please. It is a 33. That's, that's valid. Okay. It's 14. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, you've been hitting it for it's like one bad saving throw this whole time. Everything else, it's fucking out, like, fucking out the walls there. <laughs> Alright, note to self. Keep using Breath of the Dragon. Um. <laughs> no good your reason to be tentacle. <laughs> I think, yeah, I'm gonna use a key point to Flurry of Blows. I... Maybe he'll roll a 1 on stun. We'll see. <laughs> I love you gambling for, for stunning, Greg. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go gambling! Exactly! I have a proficiency bonus amount of stunning strikes to use before I have to start paying key points, and I'm going to use them. That is fair. Um, yeah, make me another con save. Uh, I'm not gonna keep pinging the stunning streak. You know what I'm doing. That's another 33. Okay. Okay. Oh, you rolled it. It has to roll a four or less. That's so funny. Hit one more. It could happen. Yeah. Let's go gambling. 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 Let's you had Max on the first, then Max on the second, and now you get Max on both. I think also I'm just I'm just gonna say I'm doing lightning damage with these instead of bludgeoning, because why not? Lightning magic stuff. Anyway, uh As you strike it, a second head falls down. Oh no. Oh my god! So it's oh gonna my... use a legendary resistance. No! Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. And oh, choose well. to yeah. succeed. Yep, Fine. Yep, yep. Yep, that sounds about right. I burned a legendary resistance, I'll take it. Uh, anything so that was my it. turn, y'all. <laughs> As a uh, legendary action. Uh, yep. I'll get away from me. <laughs> it is going to make a technical attack against you, Volko. Yeah. Uh, as an 18. It doesn't hit! Alrighty. Yeah. Wait, never mind. I have 18 AC. It hits me. It hits. I thought I had 19. <laughs> yeah. You're taking 14 psychic damage and you are now grappled. Uh, it was so close to not hitting me. This is fair. I did oh just do God. a lot of damage. <laughs> the drownies know, turn. Right? The, the the funny mind flayer drownies. Uh, so that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 strength saves. Yep. One, two, three, four, oh. five, six, seven. Oh, my God. Ooh, minus what? one to strength. Good what's to your, know. What's the DC? Uh, my DC is eighteen. So only cool. the that one of only them the say <laughs> only the that one. There's one very adamant. Good one. to know. Two of them. Two like the two of them are very adamant. Uh, and what happens to them, Jurax? Uh, 6d6 bludgeoning damage. If I remember correctly, yeah. Roll that down. 6d6 and he put, put 10 feet towards the center. 66. Wow, that is so many Why? ones. Why? <laughs> that is so many ones. That is unfortunate. Uh, 17 damage. <laughs> Still, damage is damage. Yeah, damage, yeah, is, damage, damage. is damage. One of them appears entirely unbothered. <laughs> <laughs> One of them is just flourishing in their lane, moisturized. <laughs> uh, however, the real <laughs> win here is the fact that you have them all on difficult terrain because. I Yep, it's difficult terrain. Yeah, forgot yeah, to yeah. mention that one. But you know that gif where like the guy standing in the middle of the hurricane with like a flag <laughs> and that's that one Ithalid? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Hello, Milton. <laughs> the 
Let's see. Uh, yeah, you're both within range. <laughs> hey, Damon and Valko, make me int saves. Uh, Damon is gonna roll with a plus six. I am in wheel mode. Okay. Is it a plus six or a plus a d6? Uh, plus d6. Sorry. Okie dokie. All right, you're uh, I, you're I hate you this. Y'all did it. Wow. Don't I forget you know you're what? blessed, uh, Damon. Yeah, let's let's roll them. So I get a thirty. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys are fine, actually. Um, as you feel a wave of psychic energy pass over you, but uh, nothing seems to happen. Mm. Rolling so many ones. <laughs> mm. oh, what, oh, what's that two for? I wonder. Hmm. It could be a mystery. Uh. Damon. Yep. You're getting smacked. Okie dokie. That was a twenty. Ooh. That'll hit. What? This is the tentacle. Uh. This is the elder brain dragon. Are you yes. grappled? No. Okay. I. I going to use the uh right right uh you use the shield and then you got yeah i'm gonna use the gift of the metallic dragon again to shield myself from this tentacle attack once again you shielded is hi it's me um trying to figure out where to draw this this square here is good enough. Uh, these three creatures in this box, I am going to hit them with the uh, Caustic Launcher. Okay. I've been fiddling with how the thing actually works. Hopefully this all reads out correctly. Okay, I think it does. DC 17, deck save. Ooh, nice! The deck save. Nice. Oh, oh yes! Holy shit! That was all failures. Hell yeah! God damn! Okay, well they they. Deck that's going to be their worst nightmare. God, all one right. Of the, one of the large creature. Uh, that's thirty acid damage and eighteen infernal, which comes out to forty-eight damage total. It is. Yes. The third head falls limp. Oh no. Oh? Uh, can up. I... Can I make a... A check of some sort to figure out if that's a good thing or not? You may make me a medicine check. A disadvantage because of this thing's alien map. Okay, well I have a minus one to this, so that's oh, in that wow. one. Oh my god! Wow. <laughs> Biz, you've almost oh, killed did it. did you roll double ones? It's about to die, Biz. Mmm. <laughs> I'm getting symphony flashbacks. <laughs> oh no! Biz is, Wait, like, a Biz, is, Biz is like, what's a Hydra? This is just a multi-headed dragon, right? <laughs> oh no. Uh, and for my bonus action, I'd like to use Blade Ward. Gets uh, get resistance to physical damage. <laughs> Alrighty. Your car. You yep, are still stunned. Yep. Make me need save. Please. You are still stunned. E, uh, hold on, Diamond Soul Key Point. I am going to reroll that. I finally found a way to stop Rukar. <laughs> <laughs> stunned. <laughs> stunned. Oh, thank God. You Yay! are free! Yes. <laughs> you are still grappled, though. Yep. Uh, but, hmm. at, but at your next turn, you'll be able to try to get out of that. Okay, mm. but I'm not done. That's, that's, that's good enough for me, and I can't do anything because I'm grappled. Yeah, hey, well, the save is at the end of your turn anyway. Hey, Havoc, next turn, would you like me to give you a, a buff to end saves? Or it would that not be worth save. it? All oh, right. It'll be a strength save if he wants to get out of the grapple. It'll, it'll also give you resistance to psychic damage, but it's a concentration, so I don't know how long that'll last. 
Oh, yeah, considering stairs. Damon. Stairs. Yes. As a legendary action. Oh yeah. god. It really wants you, buddy. <laughs> well, I. Oh, let's go. Nineteen <laughs> doesn't hit. Let's yeah. go. It is your turn. I was about to say I don't have a reaction until my turn again. So. Fuck <laughs> him up. Like you finally break out the new shield and you did like. Let's go. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh. Okie dokie. Let's. Let's do this. We're going to. Uh, we're going to crimson. Jesus Christ, that's a long explanation. We're going to crimson. It. I right. cast Wall of Ruins. I love Wall of Text. I love, I love the list. <laughs> Wall For of Ruins, my favorite magic card. For context, Chad, that is the Crimson Right feature of the Blood Hunter, since we can't see the title. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to be using specifically the Rite of the Dawn, the one that gives me uh, radiant damage. And I have resistance to necrotic damage. Uh, uh, and when... This thing wouldn't happen to be an undead, right? It's not... It is not. It is. Okay. An aberration. aberration. Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's... I can't only use Undead in my It's over the spice, baby. You're so <laughs> right. Okay, I have to roll a d10 and I take that much damage. Awesome. <laughs> You'll love to see it. Wow. What I need to be rolling low. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. You're trying to need... the Blood Hunter. <laughs> yeah. For real, for real. Um, if only I healed based on how much Radiant damage I dealt. That'd that would be, be crazy. Disgusting. That would be crazy. Um, crazy. <laughs> Okie dokie. We're gonna take two attacks on this guy. Uh, do I need to get like here to attack it? Or uh, I don't know if, if it... you're if it's five foot range, then yes. You have to be adjacent to the actual circle token. Okie dokie. Um, you know, I wasn't sure because a lot of like creature hitboxes are like the entirety of like the square they take in and not like the uh but a lot of tokens are like circles so with larger creatures it cuts off like the edges of the square that they're occupying yeah. i i personally use the token the certain the token itself mm -hmm. uh, especially when it comes to like line effects like Valko's Landing Bolt earlier, uh, it only missed Rukar because Rukar had a circle token. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Alrighty. Two attacks on this son of a gun. Ooh. That hits. That's a 32. Um. Oh, wait. It's not supposed to be doing 3d10. Let's take off two of those. So, uh, 18 total damage there. Uh, there we go. Uh, and I will uh, hit this thing with my brand of castigation. Uh, it probably won't really take psychic damage. But if it hits me or another target within five feet of me, uh, it takes psychic damage equal to my Hemocraft modifier, so that would be five. Or actually, it takes double that at my current level, so it would be ten. Uh, yeah. And uh, at my current level, I believe... What is it? Brand of, Brand of Sundering. Here we go. If I bring a castigation on a target, it takes another uh, die worth oh, of damage from my Crimson Right. So oh. my Crimson Right's a two die now for this second attack. Oh. Uh, I don't even need to roll the d4 from Bless. I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. oh, this is. Look at this. There we go. 19 uh, with 10 of that being radiant damage. I'm really, really poor on some of this damage. <laughs> Damon. Yep. On your second hit, you slice into the creature, and 
one of the heads parts in half. Uh, hold on. I don't I think, like this. I think I might have a feature that I man, I have to read through all of my shit again. Because I don't know if I have a feature that makes it so things stop healing or not. Uh no. That would be important. I don't to think know. so. That is unfortunate. Uh, you can stop things from teleporting, but yeah. not healing. Um, well, things next actually, so I need to figure this out right now. Uh -huh. Was it a Okay, well, never mind. I guess it'll just heal. <laughs> At the end of your turn, Damon, yep. you all have to clap your hands to your ears as you hear a blood curdling shriek. As it begins to regrow, one, two, four, seven heads. Oh my god. I love that for them. It, that's great. That's so good. So good. So good. Seven head. Thanks. Hey. Seven head. One for each of the hells. Woo. Oh, we are so good. For each of the hells we're going to. <laughs> Let's see. Oh dear god. Hmm. In replacing one of its bite attacks, the middle head veers up, and you hear a disgusting gurgling noise. As I need Balko and Akko god. to make oh. me con saves. Oh no, oh, we're here. Oh, here we go. Here if we it go. is okay. what I think it is, you are sick. What else could it be for- oh my god. <laughs> oh no! Volko and Akko, the two of you are drenched in a thick, disgusting stream <laughs> of briny spit. Volko feel it's almost like large fish slapping against your face and body but you're able to wipe them off Akko give me the resume I think I know what's happening but mm, I don't like it this is a content warning to all my listeners is it about this the ice description is going to be rather visceral Mm, mm, Akko, mm, mm. meaty. As you are being drenched in the brine, you feel these creatures slapping against you, and one crawls up your nose. Uh, oh, oh, oh. They crawl in your ears. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, no. No. And one. You. I don't need that. <laughs> Crawls through your eye socket. Oh, 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 as you are going to take seventy-four psychic damage. What is that roll? Oh my god! Okay. And you are infested. Volko, you are going to take thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Okay. What? What? What type of damage? Psychic. Oh, psychic. Okay, sorry. Oh! I misread this! Oh no. Volko! Yes? You are also- Did I fail? It, no, you succeeded! You took oh. half damage! But you are also infested. Okay. As you also feel them crawl into your body. Ugh. This is, I hate that. Like, I hate that. Like I hate that. Or something, does it? Uh, count as what? 
a disease. <laughs> it is not a disease. Oh, it is so a sad. parasitic infection. So I'm assuming I... only greater restoration can cure that, right? No. You get to make saving throws. Cool. I'm gonna my entire body. Of all the fucking times I didn't have greater restoration prepared. Fucking hell. Uh... Okay, so... <laughs> With its... Good news, bad news. Yeah. Oh. Good news, bad news. Biz did prepare it. Doesn't have diamond dust. With its other six attacks. Oh. It can just do that by replacing one of its attacks? Yeah. That's the breath weapon, right? Yeah. Yeah, what? yeah that was a breath weapon. Thank you. Black Razor just sitting there like, I told you. Oh, Damon, it regrew seven heads, so now it gets seven attacks, one of which it replaced with its breath weapon. That's wonderful. Oh, I wish you could see my smile right now. Yeah. You're sick. You're twisted. You're evil. You're sick. You're sick. You're sick. You're sick. You're sick, motherfucker. Oh, I know. <laughs> Let's see. It's going to make two attacks each against Rukar, Biz, and Damon. I am grappled. Did that help? Did that? No, it just means you can't move. Okay. Uh huh. These are against Rukar. I see. Oh, what the fuck? These are oh against goodness. Biz. Okay. And these are against Damon. I will... I will shield from the 24. Alrighty. Rukar. You are going to take... Let's see. That 14 and that 8 are maximized. So, that is... Ninety-six total damage. Oh. Is mm -hmm. uh, that is piercing is halved. Ah yes. Uh, let me recalculate that. Oh. Thirty-seven total damage. Okay. That 96 is fucking nasty, Rukar. I'm Damon, sorry. <laughs> you are taking 24. I am taking 24? Yes. Akko, it's your turn. So what saving throw do I need to do? Yes, at the start of your turn, uh, you are first going to take... That's not a D. That's also not an R. 13 psychic damage. I'm sorry, that's a 3D10? Oh my god. Yes. And you will make another con save at the end of your turn. Okay, at the end of my turn. Uh, oh right, concentration. Okay, that goes well. Maelstrom's still here. Did you roll concentration for the uh, 74 damage? Oh, no, I didn't. Thank you. Thank you for reminding. That passes. For 74? Uh, that is a DC 37 check. 37? It's yeah, half it's... damage or 10, whichever is higher. Yeah, clean up on IR3, uh, get rid of that. 
I could, got brains leaking out of everywhere. I could feel Drex, like, staring at me in hatred from all the way in I'm not staring at anything. I currently got my eyes closed and I am violently biting my fist right now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do I need to make a, a, a throw to, s s like, know if the breath weapon is in recharge or if he can just do that? I'll give it to you for free. It's in recharge. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 I am hesitating between two options right now. One of which is only going to be in the long. You know what? Fuck it. Why can why do one when you can have both? Uh okay. Gonna move over here. Uh, how the fuck do I need? Okay, there we go. 30 feet. Uh... Which one do I do this on? Okay. Quicken spell, Cone of Cold. Mmm. Okay. I will do this at level 7. Ooh. In this and... direction. Oh no, the conflict. Okay. Damn. Of course. Where did the drowning go? Okay, oh, cool. Fine. Drownies go, and the, hy the Hydra is going to take half of this. Absolutely. On my second action, I'm going to have to do a little bit of measuring. What the fuck? <laughs> what is huh? What are That's you a little doing? measuring, huh? Do that is the entire map. Okay. Um, oh, I'm sorry, everyone. That storm of vengeance is gonna happen. <laughs> what are you doing? As Akko busts out the ninth level spell. Holy shit! A churning oh, storm cloud forms, centered on a point you can see, and spreading to a radius of 360 feet. Did you yeah. see a hurricane? Lightning flashes in the area, thunder booms, and strong winds roar. Each creature under the cloud, it here. no matter no no more than five thousand feet beneath it, uh, when it appears, must make a con save. On a fail, that creature takes two d six thunder damage and becomes deafened for five minutes. Each round, you maintain concentration on the spell. The storm produces an additional effect on your turn. Oh boy. Okay. Everybody make a con save. Uh, uh, Damon! Uh, uh, no, wait. Uh, uh, Valko is going to be rolling with wheel. No, give it to Damon. I have really high con saves. I, I did too. Give it to... Oh, yeah. Give it to Rupert. someone else. Uh, I only, only both of you are in the range of my wheel. Okay. Oh, uh, give it to yourself, dude. Yeah! No, everyone... <laughs> you no, are everyone fine. Okay. Okay. I'm fine. Then so save, save it, save it. Yeah, save it. Okay, fine. See, I'll I'm good. It. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, can I flash a genius my my saving throw? <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you technically, do that. Are you allowed to flash a genius yourself? Like this isn't. Uh, me, uh, this isn't like a rhetorical question. I'm actually. No, let me let me check. Uh, I think you can. When you or another creature you can see within thirty feet. If you makes an ability check or a saving throw, you can use your reaction yeah, to add yeah, intelligence yeah, yeah. modifier to the roll. Alright, yeah, you can then. Alright. 
So you all pass. Uh, that is 11 new drownies. Holy shit. And the Hydra. Oh, he rolled low. It rolled a six. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. So you deal 2d6 thunder damage to everybody that failed to roll that damage. Of all fucking time. Ah! <laughs> D6, work with me here. I only have you. <laughs> uh... And the hit of the staff is an action. Okay. And one of them's gonna take double damage. Yep. Okay. I did pick a bad spot, but I needed to be there for the fucking for the fucking cone of cold. Is that everything on your turn? Uh I'm going to ask this. Can I ask the Zeratan? Oh wait, no, I need to be at the mine mountains. I need to be at the mine station to communicate with them, right? Yes. Does it do the same whenever, like, is it the same situation whenever it's like us in the room and asking for a change, or...? That's a more subtle thing. It's designed to be, to be able to, like, take your instruction there. But uh, if you actually want to give, like, an order to the, the Zeratan itself, you would have to be at the computer. Okay. Uh, it would... Unless you have I to don't it. know. I don't know if it would apply, but can I ask the Zeratan to create a hole underneath me and drop me into the rooms? That would not be allowed. Okay. Well, that was my only option to get out of here, so yeah, that is the end of my turn. <laughs> Volko. Uh... Volko looks very disturbed at the moment. Um, you are wrapped up in a very slimy purple. Oh, oh, I'm more concerned about that. the thing that crawled into me. Oh, right, the con save at the end of my turn. Whoops. Yes, make another DC 22 con save. DC 22? 22? Oh, fuck. Yep. Yeah, I wouldn't make them in that. Can I wheel in. myself for that one? Can you mechanically wheel yourself? Uh... Whatever a creature you can see within 30 feet of you, I don't think that applies. Does that... that or does it? No, it, it, it does. If it's other creatures, it'll say another creature. But yes. if it doesn't specify another creature, you can use it on yourself. Yeah, oh, you okay. Wheel yourself. You also okay, I'm gonna wheel myself. So that is... 20. You have Bless too, don't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's already applied in the roll. That's the fuck. Oh. oh, okay. Please don't fuck me over now. Oh. Thank you. You are no longer infested. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, um... Sweating. <laughs> so no. I'm grappled. But I can yeah. still attack, it doesn't matter, right? Yep, you just can't move. Sweet. Um, my first attack, I'm going to use another Breath of the Dragon against the, this fella. Yeah. Dex save, please. Ooh, oh. it takes 42 lightning damage. What if the head streams? Oh uh, no. I'm going to hit it with Black Grazer. Oops. Make me a con save. I'm still trying to stun it again. That's fair. Um, and then I will flurry of blows. I needed to take damage at the beginning of my turn, didn't I? You did. I'll let you roll. Eleven psychic. 
11. I'll take that in a second. Um, I think I'm making con saves with these. Does the 18 hit? The 18 does hit. Okay. Uh, both of those are gonna be stunning strikes as well. Another head troops. Oh, now what? He's going to use another legendary resistance. Fine. Succeed. Good, good. Um, Burn the resistance. I need them. <laughs> Anything now else? I need to make- No, I need to make a con save, right? To do it. Uh, is that a fail, correct? That is a failure. You are still infested. Nope. I'm gonna try to re-roll that. Oh my god, I have a <laughs> Real. You are still yeah. All right. Oh my god. Doing my doing my best. All right. That's that's all. Alrighty. The drama. As a legendary action. The Trianis get legendary action? Fuck that. No. <laughs> the Elder Brain Hydro is going to snap up to these two drownings. A long, hollow tongue ripping out to their what's left of their wings. Oh, fuck. It's a mind player. Oh no! Seeing this, the rest of the Illithid Drowny are going to retreat. Yes. It's your turn. Okay. You have three rounds. You have three three players rounds for its turn again. Two heads are down. Wait, three players round before the Hydra acts? Yeah, yeah Bid, Mind, and Draymond. Okay, um... So do you think- do we want to just- just blitz the fuck out of this thing, or...? You have a way to, like, legitimately just kill it and keep it from regenerating? Well, we don't know if it's gonna regenerate again. It's got seven heads. I don't want to know what it can cap out at. We could just strategically drop it down to one head for its turn. I... We don't really have the time for that. Can- can I try to do that? Try to target all of the heads with an AoE weapon? I will tell you that that mechanically does not matter. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh... That's- it's- it's a weird thing with D&D, especially with the Hydra, because called shots aren't really a thing. The heads are based on the total health of the creature. They don't have their own health pools. Hmm. Um, I, the best way I can, I can whittle this thing down is just by blasting it with the launcher, but I guess I'll just do that. Uh, I'm gonna put a third level spell slot into this thing, and just let her rip. It will save. That's okay. first succeeded deck save. So, let's okay, see. That, that is strange, because with the higher level cast uh, from, yeah, uh, it defaults all of them to one damage type when that should be split between the two, which is weird. So, hovering over it, I see the 4d6 uh, in one parenthesis and another 2d6 in another. I'm not sure if that's something, but 
It looks like it might be something to do with the math. It's fine. Uh, uh, I, I'll tell you, it's not resistant to either of those damage types. Hmm. So in this situation, it's it's not a big deal. But uh, I think it's some it's, might be something to do with Roll Twenty's math system. Maybe. I really don't have anything much more to do. Not with the bonus action, at least. Uh, I'll spend a blade ward, I guess. Alrighty. Hope for the best. Rukar. I am running on adrenaline right now. I am terrified. So I'm trembling no, too. No, like, holy understand. shit! No, you don't understand. I'm one hit, like one hit, and I'm out. Oh. Ugh. Oh, God. That 96, man. Holy fuck. That 96 is nasty. I'm lucky to be alive at the moment. And now I'm just at a lot of what the fuck do I do? So, by technicality, its token is inside of the square that's adjacent to you. So you can punch it. But then the voice telling you, like, but is that a smart idea? You see what happened when you just keep wailing on it? I mean, you could try to find out what happens if you don't attack it. But those are kind of the only two options. Okay. Okay. My hands are shaking, man. I am so funny. I'm, I'm, I'm my adrenaline, <laughs> adrenaline running courses through my system. Real, <laughs> real, honestly. Okay, 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 okay. And I, uh, hmm. What would you like to do? What's my movement speed? Oh. Your uh, movement speed is zero because you are grappled. Yeah, because I'm currently grapple, but like, and if I free myself from the grapple, would that cost me my movement? That would cost you your action. Okay. But uh, yeah. Okay. Actually, hold on. Yeah, no, you can you can just take your action to try to escape its uh, its grapple. I will take the action to try and escape the grapple. All right, make a strength, uh, make a strength or athletics check. This one is high, uh, a strength check, not saving throw. Yes. And the athletic, they're actually about the same, so let's just let me just make sure of something real quick in case. Oh, no, that's one's the saving throw. Okay, all right. You are unable to break free. Okay. Can I at least use the uh, flurry of blows to just take two on, on, on strike then? I will allow it. As a, bo as a bonus action. Fuck, I just bumped my mic. As a uh, bonus action. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait the key. Okay, alright. Try to break free. Doesn't, it's like. Bucket, and then just wailed on it with uh, one unarmed strike with a thirty, and it will also be lightning damage. 
which will be 17 lightning damage, and then strike number two, 35, which will be 18 lightning damage. And that's all he can do. My mic was muted. Hey, Rukar. Yeah? How do you want to do this? I'll say yeah! fucking god. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. But, okay, okay. So after he tries to struggle and doesn't, he just managed to wiggle out enough to release one fist and punch the tentacle, un like stunning it with electricity and freeing himself just enough to just launch himself and just basically just and basically just strike. I say the core center of its back rather than any of its head, which is just like a like he flies up to the sky and then just lets himself fall with a massive like electric like like lightning infused punch into its back. Absolutely. You strike down directly on the Elder Brain as it is holding onto the body of the Hydra. Everybody holds their head in their hands as they hear a intense psychic screech. It seems to run all the way down your spine as, before your eyes, you see the Elder Brain dislodge itself from the now dead Hydra as it slips back into the water. The body of the Hydra collapses. And initiative is cleared. Luka, like, if you were to look at Lucar, he is just standing there, fist, like, still kind of, like, where it was, even though the, like, the brain, like, like work yourself off back in the water and then his knee just, knee just kind of buckle and he just kind of just crumple onto the back he's not dead but let him know how he had 5 HP left and a fucking dream oh my he, God. he did it Let's go the, ad the adrenaline has yeah. the system and he is now just spent make me a con save Akko a con save Was it you or Valko that was still infested? Valko. Uh, Valko. It was Valko. Apologies, Valko, make me a con save. Hi, uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, I'm not, like, because initiative dropped, I'm not grappled anymore, right? Because it was dead, you were no longer grappled. Uh, dead, yeah. Uh, yeah, Valko, like, collapses down, like, next to Damon and is, like, on his hands and knees holding his head. Uh, con save. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Oh, thank God. 27. As Probably you, you, right? you collapse to the ground, Volko, you and Akko both collapse to the ground as you begin uh, to vomit oh, up oh. pink tadpole-like creatures. Uh. Uh. Alright, get it all out. Uh, hold on. What? Uh. Would be beyond that. It's just rushing over to Akko's side. He is very much like. There's a little bit of a shiver and tremble when you. If you ever like Dutch. Yeah, Bulk was shaking a bit too. What the fuck was that? It's the same thing. It's the same thing we met in the Goblin Satin. Well, not the same thing, but the same. The horror. Same, same type of creature. Would uh, would Damon know what we've encountered it with it before, right? Yeah. Yeah. You literally saved me from one. <laughs> That's right, okay. The Illithid Drowny looked familiar to you, but none of you have seen whatever that thing was before. Speaking of which, if anyone looked at Lucar, he is blacked out. He's not dead, but he is... Like, he's yeah, just, by the way, uh... He is just knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Everyone's struggling. General <laughs> rounds, baby! <laughs> How far did that go? Sixty feet? Is that it, 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 so? Like Vukar, like I would say, I would say Vukar, like, wait, 
Can I move my shit? And one spe specifically for Rukar. Motherfucker. <laughs> Double one. Okay. Yeah, Rukar would be like right here, like on the back here. Like just to, like, look at where he was. You're within range. Cool. Rukar is making the rounds, basically. How much is that? Uh. Yeah, 31 total. Uh, if you'll allow me, Kay, I will do this under the chalice form. Sure. As long as you're consuming another you see your wild shape. Uh, I mean, I was still in archer form, so like... It it's just cost you to swap. It doesn't cost you... It doesn't cost... That doesn't cost me to swap, no, I oh, think. Oh, then no, go for it. Uh, whenever you assume your story form, should was right. Well, there is pull of star. There we go. There it is. That's the one. Moreover, at the start of each of your turn, when in starry form, you can change your constellation. So uh, that is the four, four more. I forgot. Alrighty. So forty HP then. Uh. 35. 35? Okay. And I assume you drop concentration on that giant storm. Yeah, please! <laughs> <laughs> Aku is, like, focused on, like, healing everyone. And just remembers there is a giant fucking storm above their head. You feel it like looks at the thunder soon coming and just goes, oh, wait, no. <laughs> you feel a little bit of that. like pain as the acid rain starts to rain down on you. Ow, ow, oh, shit, shit. <laughs> this versus the storm. Is everyone all right? I've been better. Walker, like, shakily stands up. Then you know, to help him to his feet. Rukar, like, if you were to look at Rukar, his breathing is now dead, it must steady than it was at some wounds are healed, but he is still just, like, completely knocked, like, he just knocked out from, from like, the adrenaline. Yeah, that's it. It's ghost is he just knocked it's out so unconscious, rare. or...? Yeah, knocked out unconscious. He's not dead, but, okay. like, he, he is just, like, he is out. He is just, like, out He's of it. He's taking okay, a little yeah. nap. <laughs> Yeah, flies up and, and picks up Rukar. I'm gonna take this guy to his bed. Yeah. He deserves it. He does. He does. Oh, I like the preface. I had I, I did I never I had no clue that the elder brain was actually on his back despite having experience with this in the past. I just didn't because <laughs> it's like don't strike the head, strike the spine. Yeah, no, mechanically, uh, when you do a certain amount of damage to a Hydra in a round total, one of the heads dies and then it splits into two and, and regains health for every health head regrown on the next turn. It doesn't matter oh, where man. you strike it. Um, uh, because of the mechanics of 5e. Um, but if you bring a Hydra down to zero HP, that still kills it, right? Yes. Yeah. Normally. Normally, Normally, you say. Well, yeah, you remember that the Hydra that killed Symphony? <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, you right. had to deal it damage with its uh, vulnerable damage type in it to keep it from just regenerating from zero. Uh, yeah. This one was different. Also, it had an Elder Prey in it. Yeah. The Elder I... <laughs> Oh, but that was just a good fight, though. It was. Holy shit. Yeah. By the way, Kay, it was submerged, right? Like, um, it, it it wasn't water. No, it was on top of the Zeratan's head. Oh, okay. The Elder yeah, Brain is now in water, now that it's ran away. Yeah. Damn, where the other point is in water. How kit? far? How far is it? It's gone. It probably just, oh. it's, it's, it probably swam into the depths instantly, and being a, practically a jellyfish, it's probably already gone. Yeah. Because I was about to ask. 
I was about to ask everyone to just run on, into the Zeratan, concentrate a little more, and then just drop the six lightning from this from this third round. The only thing you would damage would be the Zeratan. Yeah. Hey, Bounty of Fish. <laughs> Yeah, that's a really cool spell, Bounty of Fish. <laughs> level summon fish. <laughs> Ninth level summon dead fish. It's like the plagues of Israel, but for fish. <laughs> oh my god, that's my favorite thing. It's just like, yeah, Moses, the f you failed on your percept on your persuasion check, so the Pharaoh's not going to let your people go. I cast insect plague. Are, are, you, are you sure you don't want to, like, try another method? No, I cast Insect no. Plague. I said... <laughs> Let my people Did go. I, <laughs> I can oh my god. So, uh, Jesus, the, the merchants won't stop trying to sell things at the church. What would you like to do? I'd like to spend the next eight hours weaving a whip. What? I spent the next eight hours weaving a whip. <laughs> Well, yeah. Does anybody uh, have anything they'd like to do for the end of session? Uh, can I take a small jar and collect some of these tadpole fucking things? You can, in fact, it can be investigation. Absolutely. I would love to make investigation. So, uh, That's a 24. It is. You're collecting these dead towns. And as you make your way away from the party a little bit, you see some rustling in a bush. And as you move the leaves aside, you find a live one. Oh. Can I catch it? Oh, you can absolutely catch it. Okay. Uh, I am Feel going to... A voice in your head. Mm, don't like that. Kill it? Squish it? I can offer you much power. Squish it. Not a squish that. <laughs> not again, not again. And that is how and that is how Bismuth won Baldur's Gate 3. That that's is the, character growth. Uh, that is that's character what, growth. What we call character development, folks. <laughs> yeah, baby. I can offer you great power. No then. Shut up. Did you successfully <laughs> squish the tenfold? Oh my gosh. Uh, can I really get Biz on this twice in a row? <laughs> so um Question, what are we going to do with the giant Hydrocorp? Uh, I... Aveline, can you cook a Hydra? I don't no, know if I want... absolutely we will not be eating this. <laughs> Let's just push it into the ocean, I guess. Yes, we're going to need Rukar's strength when he wakes up. As mm -hmm. all our pockets, the, mou the mouths opens... But not in a semblance of life, as you can see, something is actually pushing from the inside. Holds the can staff at the ready. You much power as a Smacks. wave of tadpoles begins to pour out of the corpse. Hi, can I use Breath of the Dragon to incinerate them with, like, with a cone? Go ahead and make an attack. Hi, I'd like to use Firestorm. <laughs> You're gonna hit the Zeratan. He's up in the water. The, I, I mean, the tadpoles have to make a deck save, I guess. You all, between the two of you, you managed to kill all of the tadpoles. Yeah. High five, Falco. <laughs> Shaky <laughs> One last one crawls out. And you hear, can get you pre-orders on Funko Pops. 
Damn, you got that's all yours. yours. You Kill son it. of a bitch, you got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> I can get you a sliver deck. <laughs> well, Let's it. fucking go! Stop it! Stop Smashes stop it. it with the... <laughs> <laughs> squishes it under the staff. No, uh <laughs> I thought we could count on David, but no. Well, go and Akko are taking turns just decimating this last one. <laughs> <laughs> it's personal. <laughs> In their he, has comes, he has comes in with the caustic thrower, just torches the entire thing. <laughs> As their last attempt to breach the fourth wall and corrupt the very players themselves fail. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it takes psychic damage for crushing the ninth wall, right? The, the fourth ninth? The ninth They're immune ninth to wall. psychic damage, my gamer. Ninth wall, where are you looking? Oh. <laughs> Aqua is aware of the ninth wall, not the. Fourth. I haven't heard of the ninth wall in a long time. <laughs> the what? <sighs> oh, you know. <laughs> if I ever hear another Freudian, Freud, Freudian contract again, it'll be too soon. Isn't it a Foster deal? Who the fuck is Freud? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, a Faustian bargain. Fucking yeah. words. Who the fuck is Faust? <laughs> Learn your negotiation. Learn your negotiation tactics, bitch. Uh, <laughs> well, clearly, I didn't know it before. That's how I fell for it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and with that, the session comes to a close. Uh, next, that was great. Oh my God. next session, you guys will reach the Zigzagel. Yes. <laughs> Until then, I have been your undead dungeon master for the evening. I hope you had fun. I know I did. And congratulations on level 19! Whoa! <laughs> See you next time! Bye-bye!